right, CES day one. Uh, I'm actually spending most of my time here at the Venetian. I haven't even made it to the show floor yet. This is really cool. I think this is fun. A lot of people have been taking selfies with that. Um, but I'm gonna be taking some meetings here, just trying to get the lay of the land. The first day of the show is always overwhelming. This is a, I, I think this might be my 12th CES overall, and I still need to take that time that day just to see what's going on and what the general trends are. I actually really like burning a lot of time down here in uh, Eureka Park. So Eureka Park, what I'm walking through right now, is that main hall of uh, the bleeding edge tech, the smaller, the indie developers, the uh, Kickstarter programs, all of that stuff that is probably not ready for prime time. A lot of it's super niche, but um, you might see some really good ideas here that then become something uh, more exciting later on down the road. And of course, like the first thing I walk into is, is a company selling a wearable subwoofer. I'm like, yeah. Shove that thing on my chest. I want to feel stuff. Let's do it. <laughs> Made with a premium plastic. To uh, the hinges and the iPads here are all German engineers. They also come with prescription lenses if you need them. What you don't see in regular glasses is this. It's a small projector that shoots a small ray of light that bounces off a hologram that's in the lens. Uh, all of this technology is custom made by us and manufactured in North America. Oh, okay, and that's, that's already better, too. Yeah. You know, so, you know. yeah, I mean, like, I'd be able to keep eye contact when I have this thing pop up. Um, can you just scroll over? Is there... Yeah, you can. Whatever, whatever. Oh, that's really clean. Yeah. I don't know what you're looking at. So it's super secure. Yeah, it's private. <laughs> covering more PC builder and DIY stuff. Mm -hmm. Like this was pretty good. This was good. Yeah. This was good. There was actually You're late. there was actually can I say it? There yeah. was actually ethnic right. food here. Yes. <laughs> I had a taco. <laughs> and I had shomai. If you don't know what shomai is, oh. you should be surprised that it was here. <laughs> totally. Yeah. It was it was worth our time. Okay, and now begins the longest hallway walk down to my hotel room. I'm at the very end. It's one of those funny, I couldn't literally be further away from my hotel rooms than if I were outside the hotel. So the, the end of the evening got a little crazier than I was expecting it to, but Trisha got me hooked up to go check out the Alienware party. And who could turn down a free concert, the Glitch Mob? Uh, just remember kids, even when you're jamming to those groovy beats, that you uh, still protect your hearing. Uh, yeah, just an incredible night, and finally getting my hands on some cool tech, getting to play with the folks over at Gigabyte and Aorus, getting to walk through some of that, uh, that cutting edge indie stuff. And uh, tomorrow, it's gonna be another crazy day. Uh, gonna be looking at ASUS, we're gonna be talking to Zotac. 
I just, uh, oh, uh, someone ordered room service. Didn't finish it. I could probably pick a little off of that, but I won't. <laughs> a little dignity left, and I'm not that drunk. So, <laughs> folks, as always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing. I, I love doing these sort of like behind the scenes things for uh, travel and events. And uh, make sure you check out some of our coverage of Newegg. We're going to start getting those videos out soon. And I, I think you'll like it. I think we've got some fun stuff to show off. So, I will catch you all on the next video and now i've got to find my hotel room key because i am i'm still tens of feet from my hotel so yeah okay good night